Whew, it has been windy today here in uh, Mesa, Arizona. So I wanted to get a little video when the wind kind of stopped off. We're in November now. It's been, uh, I mean, some cooler days. It's actually been very warm this uh, winter time, fall time. I don't know what you want to call, call it. We're in late November right now. But it has not been cool at all as you can see my tomato plants are blowing up i'm actually gonna i think i'm gonna do t some type of greenhouse just so these tomatoes can actually uh ripen and they just don't stay green but i mean i gotta say these tomato plants are reaching over five feet right now putting on tons of fruit we're still only having native bees running around pollinating everything it's been pretty cool it's just been so warm here. I think it's, I think it's November 26th, just after Thanksgiving, and uh, we're still in the 80s. 80s during the day, maybe high 50s at night. It seems like the weather's gonna start getting a little cooler, maybe into the upper 40s, uh, low 50s at night. And this is my glacier lettuce. If you want to see what it looks like close up it's just beautiful nice and crunchy just the way I like it but this crop hasn't turned out how I like it now typically this glacier lettuce should be overtaking the whole bed and just blowing up I don't know if it uh, you can see on the screen but some of it's not doing as good as the other what you want is nice thick juicy leaves uh, when they ripen when they're about to turn into flowers um, you get a pretty long period but that's when this, they get very salty and taste really good and it's just crunchy and juicy well some of my glacier lettuce has not done that it's actually it seems like it's just been too hot here and the leaves have gotten kind of leathery. It's in the succulent family. And uh, I think it's just too hot and maybe my soil content isn't just the right type. Uh, might not be decomposed as much when I bought it from the, uh, the soil where I got it from. They don't sponsor me, so I'm not gonna sponsor them. Uh, I don't think it was composted, oh, it definitely was not composted as much as it needed it to be. And I waited probably like five, six months before I even planted anything into it so it can compost more, kept it moist so it can compost. And I just don't think it was fully there. Uh, the wood chips probably didn't compost as much in the, in the soil that I bought. But yeah, kind of disappointed about the glacier lettuce. It's a big seller at the farmer's market I sell it at. Some of it's going to be great. Some of it's turning out very well. And just, I would say I'm getting about 50-50 in this garden bed. About good to bad glacier lettuce. So I'm going to have to pick out the plants that are going to taste the best. Because I want to sell the best product at the farmer's market. And uh, so I'm not going to have as much of it, it doesn't seem like. But the stuff I do have will... Uh, will be quite good and you know there's always issues with any garden and I am having issues with my kale pulled a lot of plants and fed it to the quail uh, a lot of aphids we had some good ones but it's the this whole bed was full and a lot of it's not turning out good we have good ones and then we have really sad aphid infested small ones <laughs> um, I do have a lot of uh, garden beans that I'm starting up. So that'll be fun to see how those come out. And then I also have uh, baby broccoli. We're gonna start those up. Hopefully I get some nice good plants of those. Uh, the broccoli I have is mainly for uh, the side shoots broccolini. That I think is better and I like it more. So that's the specific type of uh, broccoli I chose but here's another look at the glacier lettuce so, you know I'm uh I'm half happy with this <laughs> a little disappointed on how it turned out 
but what I'm really happy with, the best thing, is this, uh, these tomato plants. These tomato plants, probably the, uh, there's one in there. That guy right there, that one's not doing well. But that's the only one not doing well. Every other one is just, the, those plants are over five feet tall and just doing amazing. So really best crop of uh, chocolate pear cherry tomatoes I've ever grown. And just loving it, probably gonna get some greenhouse for it set up so I can have it all winter long because it will get cold eventually. I mean, it's late November, so and one of these days it's going to get cold up here, Mesa, Arizona. We'll, uh, we'll see if it ever does happen, but I do want to have this uh, bed wrapped up so my fruit ripens and I can get some to the farmer's market and have some other people taste these delicious uh, chocolate pear cherry tomatoes. All right, y'all have a great day, great holidays. And uh, I'll try to post some more videos soon. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much.